Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, I want to do a little outside uh, discussion here on uh, on money and where Linux can help solve it. And uh, a couple things I was thinking about over the course of the last couple of days. The first is there's a uh, a new guy with a channel still under a hundred um, subscribers. I'll go ahead and put the video I was mentioning down in the. Um, uh, box down there so you can kind of see that but basically he switched to Linux Mint about a year ago and he found that it was it saved him a ton of money and it really helped him out a lot and uh, I got thinking about that whole principle with saving money and whatnot because you know we are in a down economy and um, the other part I was thinking about is I pull into this town just kind of driving through here and there's this uh, little park which um, is a nice like in its heyday it was a really nice park you can tell and actually I just spent um, a couple days at another park down the road that again in its heyday was probably absolutely amazing but now it's run down it's completely littered with beer bottles and whatever else this park here there's several pieces of sidewalks that's missing there's uh, ju it just looks old and run down and there's like you know uh, report crime scene uh, signs all over the place basically um, it's become it looks like it's become a place that was um, really well utilized in its day and then now all of a sudden it's just like completely run down and I got to thinking about that and the reason for that in as our society we kind of go into highs and lows does this mean that our whole world is collapsing it doesn't because there's been times in our society that we've had a lot of really good things um, going on really good community centers built and also we've had times where things are falling into total disrepair as things go bad and these these things ebb and flow and uh, in fact a long time ago on this channel I had a series called um, out, outdoor philosophy and then I eventually moved it on, over onto the Christian channel and I just stopped doing them all together uh, who knows maybe we need to bring some of those back like a Luke Smith style right just get on here and talk about other things well the two videos that launched the outdoor philosophy series were when I was taking a trip up into the Erie area and I'd stopped because there was a park where we used to play uh, when we were kids that at that time it was this beautiful manicured park and there was this cool shack and a um, the city would hire a, a local teenager to uh, fill the shack up with games and toys and stuff for all of the community kids and uh, the thing fell in disrepair and I did a video where that was completely run down the shack was still there at that time I'm not sure if it still is but the, everything is completely grown over you can see the old tennis court that has trees growing out of it and stuff and um, it's just one of those signs. And then uh, I did another one from a car park called Billings Park that was in Edinburgh. And I remember when Billings Park was just a grass field and it had a slide and a swing set when I was like 10. And then when I was in middle school, the whole community got together and built a really massive playground. And on the christening day, there were about between 100 and 200 kids there, like the whole town. Uh, children showed up from the four corners of the town this park opened and it was absolutely amazing and then it got run down and run down and run down and run down and i was told haven't confirmed but i was told they actually tore it all down so i'm gonna go take a look at that so those two backdrops and videos are on this channel i'll go ahead and link those down in down below uh, if i can find them again uh, but those were the starting videos on outdoor philosophy. I think one of them we did a quote disc review of Windows 98, another one disc review of like Windows 2000 or like Windows 10. Or I can't remember. Um, but it was the backdrops that were important. And I got to think about this because our society right now is on this huge downturn. Nearly every company is laying off lots and lots of people. This means a lot of people are hurting more and more and more for money. Yet every company is coming out right now and demanding subscription fees. You can't buy a copy of Microsoft Office anymore. I think you still can, but it's becoming harder and harder. Just buy a copy of Microsoft Office. You have to have the subscription model. If you need Adobe, you have to have the subscription model on Adobe. I know that's exclusively subscription now. So you're gonna be paying all that. And then now now Windows is doing away, they, they killed 8, 10 you can't get the licenses anymore, so now it's up to 11. At this time they're not forcing people off of 10 and onto 11, 
but what they are doing is they're trying to edge and nudge and push more people to it and this means most people because of the the harsh system requirements of windows 10 are going to be forced to buy a new computer so we are in a society where inflation is going through the roof. The price of eggs alone have like tripled in the last year. Gas is still really, really, really high compared to what it was when uh, the current nincompoop got put in a ch into the office up there. And then uh, all sorts of other things are happening. A recession is here. People are losing their jobs. And now to do the basic, basic online stuff, people are gonna be required to get a new computer or pay monthly fees for subscription services when money is so tight because of the number of people being laid off. This is the power of Linux and open source software, folks. Even if it's like, okay, I can't switch to Linux yet, I can still reuse my Windows 10 computer. Um, I have this Adobe package because I like to you know, edit my photos, whatever else. I don't, I'm not a professional that has to have it where my company's buying it you can get away with many sources of free and open source software you can do it and you should give it a try okay if you are in this position where your computer is telling you you need to upgrade and you can't upgrade because you do not have the system requirements linux is a free and open source operating system the point is in our down economy where everybody still wants to take a big cut of your money when our money is running thinner and thinner and thinner this is the perfect opportunity for you to switch to linux or at least other free and open source software so that you can take advantage of holding on to some of that money and still accomplish the tasks you see this is one of the things i talk about for people just starting to switch to linux don't try and figure out how to run x piece of software on my computer try and figure out how to accomplish x task on my computer because oftentimes how you accomplish the task is not nearly as important as um, as actually getting it done. And so if you're talking about editing photos, again, if you're a full-fledged professional and your company is paying for Adobe or you're not losing your job and you have to have it, you perceive you have to have it, fine. But if you're just editing your photos, GIMP is gonna do every job that you can regardless. If you're just doing um, you know, vector imaging, Inkscape, if you're doing drawing, you have Krita, Look at your office suites. You do not need to continuously pay Microsoft for it. LibreOffice is every bit as compatible. And frankly, all of the alleged miscompatibilities is farce. There's a few basic fundamentals like the fonts that you have, the format of the document, because you have to understand this. The docx format that Microsoft Office uses stores different information than the open source document type, which the open source document type is way better and way more robust but if you're interacting with people with Office documents, you want to use the DocX format, which is just fine. LibreOffice can handle it just fine. But here's the thing, in our economy, where all of our money is being spread thinner and thinner and thinner, we're paying way more for gas, we're paying may way more for groceries. Right now, current statistics indicate that more and more people are putting basic household necessities on credit cards. You can save a lot of money by just changing some of those habits in your computer, use a free and open source operating system, use free and open source applications, and accomplish actually getting out and doing the tasks you need to do on your computers, whether it's finding a new job, whether it's enjoying your entertainment. And this extends to everything, guys. I am not beholden to Netflix or any other streaming service. All of my streaming stuff is just done on a local NAS server. I do not rely on any external services. I do not have any external monthly subscriptions. I do not have any software that I have to pay monthly for. And I am still able to accomplish all of my different businesses with the power of Linux and free and open source software. So in this down economy, guys, this is the time to start looking at it. Head over to alternative2.net to find alternative software packages for the things you need to do. Start looking around at Linux distributions. As I said uh, in a video, let <laughs> me criticize it. There was one video the other day when I was trying to simplify things. Oh, you should you know, use my distribution instead of blah, blah, blah. No, I, I didn't tell you. I told you go and use Linux Mint because Linux Mint is easy and it's going to be familiar. 
for the person that commented on that video with them um, some like rudeness being like well you should just use my distribution no the point i was trying to make is i'm trying to make it easy for you to switch and if you decide down the road you love gnome you love arch you love pop os or ubuntu or some other distribution all i did is started you on your journey that's what i recommend if you don't know where to where to look don't look around on the internet do all these things just go to linuxmint.com use that saved the the new um technology channel saved him a ton of money in one year it's going to save you a ton of money in one year and in this down economy in this recession free and open source software is going to be your key to keeping all your systems running without being tied in to these big companies with that guys thanks for watching have a look at the links in the description down below for the videos i talked about here at the beginning and we will see you guys next time Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy... Switching to Linux.